In The Dark Knight Returns, Bruce Wayne at age 40 must come out of retirement to take back the city from a mutant gang. This movie was based on a comic book art by Frank Miller, I believe. And I think it was a good interpretation of the comic book. But, the mutant gang leader seemed he was treated to be an unimportant character. And Carrie Kelly just seemed comedic. The voice acting was great. And the way they did a homage to the comic book cover, that was awesome too. So this movie was, without spoiling anything, it makes you excited for part two, but it doesn't make it to the point where you just can't wait. It is nowhere near the Dark Knight or anything like that, or the first Batman in 1989. But it is one of the best animated Batman movies I've seen. Now, as a Marvel fanboy, don't think I'm being biased or anything. I like Batman just as much as I do anybody else. Now, the cliffhanger ending, I liked. They needed that in there. Make people more excited. The writing, I thought was... It was okay, I guess. But Batman seemed too violent. And kind of crazy. I mean, he nearly killed that guy. But, I think Alfred does a good job in the, good, does a good interpretation of his character in that movie. I'm excited for part two, I can tell you that right now. And that was my review for The Dark Knight Returns Part 1. The final final verdict is a 8 out of 10 stars. Thank you for watching, subscribe, rate, and comment. Thank you. Goodbye.